guys I decided to move inside for this video and do it like this because outside it's too windy and it keeps blowing my cards out of the way so let's dive into Virginia Jeffrey and Alan Dershowitz and as you guys that are following this whole Epstein saga may know these two have been at it for the last couple months if not years but Dershowitz is has now sued Jeffrey for defamation and boys Jeffrey's old lawyer has sued Dershowitz for defamation where is this going where is this going to end um, so we'll do a spread and we'll have a look at Jeffrey and Dershowitz Dershowitz is saying that he couldn't have had anything with Jeffrey because Jeffrey already wrote a manuscript or some kind of a book that detailed everything that happened to her and he's saying because she didn't write anything about him in that book short of a few short paragraphs that shows that she knows the truth that he never had anything with her. Jeffrey never directly denied this, but through her camp, um, the a statement or the rebuttal came back that her book was never designed to be a tell-all book or um, telling everything she experienced, but to focus on several main points and people. So Dershowitz is adamant though that he did nothing wrong and that Jeffrey is lying and Jeffrey seems to be adamant that Dershowitz is lying. So let's have a look at what's behind the scenes here, what may be going on, what's happening. I've prayed for protection, I'm praying for guidance, and I'm praying to be an observer. I don't need to feel anything. I don't need to dive into that vibration. I just want to observe very, very distantly. <clears throat> and, um, and in public interest because this is all playing itself out on a public platform so and we'll have a look later at the archetypes that are being triggered and what we can be learning from this situation okay so let's see here Virginia Jeffrey and Alan Dershowitz Alan Dershowitz versus Virginia Jeffrey how will this work out where is this coming from how are the two feeling the energies to be kept outside this bubble. Definitely in clinch and um, already from these top cards I want to say that Dershowitz is, 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 yeah. But the whole energy around this whole situation is just gross. Dershowitz and Jeffrey. I hope you can see this all. Perfect. All right, so we've got Dershowitz over here, and um, it it this is an interesting position for him to be in. Um, those of you that are not familiar with Lenormand, let me catch you up to speed just very quickly and very briefly. The four cards at the bottom, this is a traditional full spread layout and um, there are other ways to lay this out. This is the traditional one. The four cards at the bottom represent whatever you want them to. You just have to determine it beforehand. So I'm falling back on the traditional future. Um, wherever the characters are looking, that is their future. Where they're moving away from or facing away from is their past. I've already pre-chosen this to represent Dershowitz and the female over here to represent Jeffrey. Okay? Alrighty. Whoops. What was that? One second. Okay. 
So we've got Dershowitz over here, and this is really interesting that he's over here because um, he's all the way at the bottom of the spread, plus in his future there's nothing. He's, he's facing this way, and there's nothing over here. He's at the very edge of his future, and everything that's above the character is what's on their minds, and everything beneath them is what's what they're not dealing with or wanting to deal with. So with him all the way at the bottom over here, he feels backed into a corner. He feels pushed into a corner and he feels um, overwhelmed by everything that's happening. He he cannot believe this is happening. It's, it's literally, he can't believe this is happening. He feels that um, Virginia is a snake. Um, he sees her as a very, uh, he needs to take her seriously. But I also feel that there is a woman who is backing Virginia because there's the snake lady here who's on the mind of Dershowitz. And this woman has been his bane or been a bane for all these geezers, all these guys for quite some time. And this woman seems to be backing Virginia. Um, there's a, a secure connection here between them with the key and this is a long time connection and this woman may have also had to do with um she's definitely in a powerful position with the bear and money and finances right so there's something about money and finances protection and she seems to be she's in a public position but this public position has has ended with karma uh with the cross card up here it's it's ended um but it's also been a karmic thing for her to be in this public eye to be in the public position and she is definitely backing virginia now virginia is counting on a financial settlement okay because we've got the the ship here which has to do with finances dreams coming tr true things happening according to plan um, a ring she's banking on a financial settlement and she is um, it, it's just so much for her right with the stars so she's praying to God quite literally with with the cross religion she may have found religion I don't remember I think I recall way back when um, reading that she'd found Christianity or she found God I can't remember for the life of me but whatever this is on top of her I see her praying to God right with the cross and the stars so she has learned to find faith or to to um maybe faith brought her through in some way not quite sure but there's a strong faith a strong belief here now um virginia is willing to do what it takes and she's got a group of women who are also very supportive of her with the flowers here in front of her and here is a male um, figure that's also very supportive of her he may be a lawyer, he may be a mentor, he may be someone who's financially, because the lilies is someone who's well off. This may also be your husband, right? So she would derive a lot of strength from her family and from the people that are there for her and support her. Uh, this would be a very active person or someone who has to do with intelligence, with um, news, with, with information, okay? And... Um, this is someone who's been in her life for quite a long time so she is very well supported actually and this is kind of what's annoying Dershowitz because he's he's feeling like this is going to be a tough one you know even though he went ahead with it because he feels backed into the corner he's absolutely running scared and um he's also wanting to protect someone he's he's wishing he had the protection that she had right so we see him here in the public and um, he feels he wants control over his, I want to say there's, there's, um, he's, there's a lot of worry or concern around the public and what's being said in public. Let's have a look at where's the journalist. Yeah. So the, the journalists are, are more on Virginia's side. So the, the spin is going to be friendly towards Virginia because here with the fox we have the journalists and when you unite that we land with the flowers which is connected to Virginia. So the spin is definitely going to be friendly towards uh, Virginia and he knows this. He knows this, right? He's willing to sink a lot of money into this and um, I feel like what they're hiding as well is some kind of a 
business agreement or arrangement because the ring and the bear some kind of a that he had with someone important i'm not quite sure who this bear is it may be i don't know i i couldn't guess this could be brunel this could be epstein this could be unknowns this could be wexner i don't know but there's someone here who he had an agreement or a business dealing with and this money um this woman knows about she knows about some kind of financial dealings or possibly epstein's financial dealings she knows about that have ties to also uh whoever dershowitz is dealing with or dealt with now when it comes to um he's quite sure that he can save his public reputation um he's quite sure he can clear his name I do feel that um, I don't know how he thinks that you know I don't know how he thinks that because according to these cards uh, Virginia is is not lying there is a connection between the two so if this is Dershowitz and this is Virginia and that's what I determined before we started the reading then the card here the ring and up here the snake so he feels betrayed by her he feels she betrayed a trust there's this irrational um sense of betrayal now there's this woman who i'd love you guys to look into i'll post the link to the interview or the ted talk below and she is a um she was in the european child pornography ring satanism sect and she got herself she uh, fled that when I think she was 12 years old, 11 or 12 years old. And she's talking about how the men were so vulnerable in those moments, showing the most vulnerable parts of themselves and um, their broken inner children. And this kind of reminds me of that because he has this rational thought that she's betraying him by speaking up about what she endured or what she, what kind of person he is, right? And um, so he sees her as a snake, as a betrayer. She betrayed the bond. She betrayed the the group, the, the agreement they had. That's the way Dershowitz sees it. And he feels that he he's going to call her on it, right? But she's absolutely out of this mindset. It seems like this is a mindset. And this mindset is heavy. It kind of limits people, weighs them down, keeps them locked into some kind of box. Um, they can't see outside of it. Really interesting to see all this and um she's out of that like she's liberated herself she's on a different path and i do feel that she is she may go into uh further writing there's something that she's still yet to do virginia is not going to stay quiet right um she's not going to just go back to australia and disappear or something like that she is she's going to keep writing she's going to keep speaking she's going to keep articulating she sees herself now as some kind of a messenger right so an information bringer and this is important for her to bring the information to the public and she has a lot of information there's a lot of info that is yet to come out and um but i don't see her um lying there is a vested interest that i do see but I don't see her lying, right? Um, let's see. She is worried about how this will, you know, she's still, uh, this may be her therapist, her healer. That's what it must be. This may be her therapist who's, who's really telling her she needs to go through with this in order to find closure and healing to the various memories. The stars means a lot, right? So to all the memories she has um, that cause anxiety because these memories still wake her up at night they still even after all this time they they she still hasn't because there were so many encounters there was so much that happened and in order for that box in order for a lid to be put on the box she has to find vengeance she has to find be vindict uh, you know she has to find revenge which is revenge is the wrong word she has to find balance right and so she may have been given not even by her legal team but by her therapist she may have been given this kind of push that what she's doing is the right thing to do and this is someone who would have been giving her long-term advice the tree this is going to be a lifelong partner 
Um, it's going to be a lifelong healing process for her. I do feel she's going to be moving house again. She's going to be leaving where she's at now and she's going to be going somewhere else. This may even be overseas, but it, 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 she's definitely moving houses and it will be within a year or two's time. Um, she's got a lot of female support, like I said, right? So the sun and a group of women here. And it may even be that um, this group of women through her actions is also going to receive some money, right? So there's a lot of dealing, a lot of being recompensed or recompensed, um, a lot of financial compensation that's going on here. And it's definitely factoring into this whole thing as stated in previous videos. It's a definite consideration here. Dershowitz is um, with the cards surrounding a person, right? And around Virginia, we don't have any card except for cards that represent the truth, right? So the cards around a person describe their personality and who they're portraying themselves to be. And we've got Dershowitz here as a man of power, the bear, who's absolutely confident and knowledgeable and wise, the key. But we've also got the snake, like someone who's not quite trustworthy, who can be um, a betrayer who can be someone who weasels their way in and out of things. Around Virginia though we've got a very active card so she's got an active mind. She thinks big, um, the stars. Uh, she likes the public. She, you know, this may not come across as great as a character trait but this whole circus and hoopla she's not suffering under it. She's um, the perfect one to be the flag girl for this situation because she doesn't feel the need to hide away. She's not ashamed of it. Um, she's uh, it, it's, she's uncomfortable with this card in public, right? But um, she feels that she's very pragmatic about it. She knows it's only going to be in the grand scale of things a moment. This is going to be quickly over. That's what she's banking on, that this, is, this public aspect of it is going to be quickly over. But she's not shy about it whatsoever. And um, she's quite confident. She's gaining a lot of um, traction and a lot of support. And people are, are willing to, to open the doors for her for basically anything. There have been offers made to her. There may have been offers of um, movies, the stars, right? There may have been offers towards a movie or towards some kind of storytelling aspect for her. But um, I don't feel she's... There are no closure here, right? There's no closure here. There may have been some kind of a deal that's being made with a lot of money, right? So there's a lot of money here. Um, I'm not quite sure what kind of a deal this is. If then it's connected to Dershowitz as well. Uh, there's another male hiding out down here who's who's also got to do with a lot of money. Um, she's she's backed by some very powerful financial givers. Uh, let's see here. We've got in the center of this, what is this all about? We've got the lily sexuality. We've got child information long term. Like this is, this is an established um, thing. Wherever we see the tree, it's an established thriving living thing. And we've clearly got sexuality in child, right? So this person who um, is so close to Virginia here, this may be someone who's, who has to do with that. This is weird. Okay, so sometimes the cards represent multiple things at once, but um, there's, there's definitely someone who also has to do with this, who's supporting her. So this is, it, it, I almost feel like someone who's also guilty but deflecting from his guilt by throwing others like Dershowitz and others under the bus. So it's like there's this internal war going on, but we can't see who all the players are or what they're fighting about. Um, but she knows. But she's she's looking out for herself and her family. And I guess she should. That's all you can do. Um, let's see here. More information is coming out. There's more information coming out, and it may be coming out from, from Virginia, but there's more information coming out about more people. The stars are so many. Like She has so much and so many people. And um, 
it may still be coming out. Let's see here. Um, he's dead. Like, Dershowitz feels it's only a matter of time. He's extremely angry. The whip, um, the coffin, death, and again, the scythe. So this is extreme pain. He's, he's sincerely suffering. It's affecting his health. He's, he's worried, um, literally, he's going to die suddenly, maybe of a heart attack or a stroke. Um, he's, he's, he's worried about that. So he's, he's probably trying to keep his health under control at this time. Heart. Somebody's got um, anxiety, major heart, and the, the, the birds. So there's a lot of <sighs> lawyer some man of legal authority the the this guy here and concerns heart can also mean young right so it can mean younger it can mean children it can mean a pet someone you love someone close to you you see friends Loyalty. So the dog can also represent something that's dogged for a long time, that's been around a long time. I feel the courts are not going to make it easy for either one of them, okay? So there, it's, it's, it's really a tug of war. I've got the court here with the tower, the house, the estate, um, the island maybe, a woman, but also difficulties, stability, and um, not going the, the usual route. The secrets are still being kept, I knew it. Book secrets from the public. There's a lot of communication flowing between Virginia and another woman, but also um, she's she's highly optimistic. Like she's quite sure that she's going to walk out of this and feel feel safe. And how's this? But there, that might be a false hope because things are are going to be a lot more complicated than they seem. Let's have a look here. Where is Virginia coming from with this whole thing? What is what is her stance, her background? Virginia seems. Yeah, Virginia is really with the King of Wands. Um, she's got great counsel. She's got someone who's very intuitive as a counselor, as a um, advisor who moves forward, but who's also got a lot of energy and a lot of passion and a lot of zest for this, this situation, for this case. How's it going to continue for Virginia? Virginia is definitely, um, well, the Ace of Cups came up reversed at first, and I feel like putting it like this. That's literally how. So it's going to be kind of like a semi-good... It, it'll at first look like it's going against her, but it might shift towards the end. But it, at first it's going to be very ambiguous. How will this end for Virginia? What is the end of it? Yeah, two of, two of swords. I'm feeling like this very ambiguous energy. And I think what they're going to um, nail it down to is proof that they were together because even though they were and I can see they were she's not lying she still has to prove it and um, I feel that justice is going to rest on that where is Dershowitz coming from what's his stance Dershowitz definitely knows the law forward and backward he knows also the traditions of the court system he knows how to work them to, to get what he wants. And he's got connections. He's also got his own connections, his own protectors, his own supporters. How is this going to continue? 
Um, there's that bribing again. This is, you know, he's going to have to put some money on the table. He's going to have to put some cash on the table for some people, and it might work. How will this end for Dershowitz? How it's going out is not yet chosen, the high priestess, right? It still remains a secret. Clarification on the high priestess, please. Yeah, so he, he may definitely have to pay a pretty penny. Five of pentacles, four of pentacles. He may be feeling like he's out in the cold, you know. And um, he may be feeling like even though he has support, it's not enough. Or it's not the right kind of support. Or, 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 or. But when it comes to Virginia, she's way more clear. And um, it seems she has some really good people on her side. There may be a little bit of a delay, but then justice will be spoken. And um, when it comes to Dershowitz, he's definitely a part of the system, right? He's part of this all. And um, he knows how to play the game. He will be offered a new opportunity, a new chance, but he'll also be offering money. He'll try to bribe his way through. Um, they may be offering some kind of um, under the table agreement or settlement, but she wouldn't go for that. Like, I don't feel Virginia would go for that at all. And the high priestess. Okay, let's have a look here at, um, let me just collect these up. Okay, so I wanna know um, how this is all going to turn out and work out. And if, and I'd also like to see um, Dershowitz and Boyce and how that will turn out. So let's have a look here. I'll lay out one row for Geoffrey. Geoffrey. One row for Geoffrey. Dershowitz. Boyce. So we've got here an offer. We've got underneath, we've got the page of cups at the bottom of the deck. And so that's already telling me that an offer is coming. An offer, somebody's making somebody an offer. Okay, so this is, it's going to be kind of on the table, off the table, uh, in the news, off the news, you know, so we might not hear about much about it, kind of on the side. So let's have a look first at Jeffrey. So Jeffrey's coming in and she's coming out of a, like I said, Jeffrey kind of feels like a star right now. <laughs> she's quite the character and um, she's a strong personality. She's, uh, she's really strong and she's got a lot of faith. She has a deep abiding faith in the laws of the universe. She's quite aware of that. She's got faith in some higher power. She's got faith in herself. And she's very strong, very confident. The star also represents someone with strong Aquarian energy. So it would be interesting to see her chart and see if there's a lot of Aquarius in it. And because of that, it also represents someone who's blonde haired, which we know she is. So this, I feel, quite fits her quite well. Um, the High Priestess, she's keeping her cards close to her chest. Like she's not really opening up much anymore, but she is focusing. She's becoming more and more focused. Um, as well, things are happening with her because, you know, when you go through all these memories and you're digging through these memories and you're working things out, things happen on a deep level. So there's a lot of spiritual growth and a lot of development that's happening for Virginia right now. And um, I feel it's dredging up things which she also hadn't thought about in quite some time. She may be disappointed with the overall outcome, the Seven of Pentacles. She may feel like, okay, this is either not enough that I'm being offered, or this is just a small drop on a, on a stone, on an entire canyon I have yet to carve. But she may feel disappointed with the outcome and inconclusive. There may be an inconclusive outcome. So it's not that nobody believes her. It's just that there's no real firm hardcore, unfightable proof, 
right? And I think that's what's going to come down because Seven of Pentacles has to do with crops that don't come up, right? And so you're looking at your failure thinking, okay, what happened? What could I have done better? What could I have done right? I also feel there's a certain aspect or group that's working against her that she doesn't know about, right? So she's she's going in on blind faith in a way. Dershowitz. He is definitely coming in with a lot of energy and a very defensive and protective energy as well. I'm being drawn to the cancer aspect of this card. And he's coming in with a very defensive, pro protective energy and he's got drive. And if he's going to run this whole show by himself, he's going to do it. He really feels, um, he wants to drag her out. He feels that she's being deceptive. He feels that she's not speaking the full truth if she's going to go you know rogue if she's going to go whistleblow if she's going to betray the club then um she's not speaking the full truth and there's something that she's hiding as well so there are secrets there are still things that she hasn't really opened up about either and he is definitely willing to go there he is working he is working 24 7 non-stop around the clock on this case and um, she's kind of unsure. She doesn't know what he's going to throw at her or what his stance is going to be. So there's this unknowingness that goes in with her. And um, it's like she's just relying on everyone around her, but not really on her own work to make things happen. And she doesn't know what he's bringing to the table, but he's definitely making some plans and these plans are not without substance um with others there are others like i keep saying that are supporting him and the outcome for dershowitz he may find himself in jail he may find himself um or his his freedom restricted for some time i i do feel that he's looking towards a situation where he may not be able to easily get out of as much, right? Eight of Swords. This whole thing may backfire on him, but I, I, like I said, I feel for these two, the end or the outcome is inconclusive, and at some point, they're going to realize this is not going anywhere. It's not leading us anywhere. And that's when the offers start coming up on the table, Page of Cups, right? Because none of them want to be seen as liars right or as perjurers or as anything like that they they don't want that image so before it gets that far before someone is jailed there's an offer coming on the table but i just get the strong feeling that virginia is not going to take it she's 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 not going to be okay with that she she wants to go all out but she might not receive what she's looking for but dershowitz may get himself into a really sticky situation here boys boys is he's he's battling for something right he he feels um i don't know why he's jumping into the fray it, it's like it's it's all absolutely ridiculous and why he's absolutely taking seriously what you know i mean a lot of he said she said and back and forth is going to be happening so why he's taking it seriously and why he's taking this moment to go and sue Dershowitz and get into the middle of it is is unclear but um i i guess it'll come out soon but he's definitely um he's throwing himself into the fray he knows what's this is like the a squabble and he's i feel he's kind of underestimating the situation for him with the five of wands but he definitely wants to prove something he wants to show something he wants he doesn't want to be pushed around. All of a sudden I heard that he doesn't want to be pushed around. He's not going to be used. He's not going to be taken for granted. He doesn't want to be pushed around and he's throwing himself into the fray because of that. He is, um, he feels he's dealing with evil. Um, he's, he's absolutely mind blown boys at, at what he's seeing in front of him here. And he feels himself trapped in this situation. He literally feels like he's dealing with the devil and he knows no good can come of this whole situation he is he he knows there are no winners here right there are no winners in this this entire situation there are no winners he he feels like this is a very dark energy this is a very dangerous game and um he actually 
I feel he doesn't want to be in the middle of it. He feels that he's been dragged into it and now he's got to um, do things that he doesn't want to do. There's, there's something about puppets, right? So he sees them being puppeteered. He sees especially Dershowitz being puppeted. He may have even warned Dershowitz. This is the funny part. This is maybe this is what Dershowitz wants to use him as a witness for. Is um, he he may have seen that Dershowitz is being manipulated or puppeted in some way, shape, or form. This goes beyond Virginia. That's all I can say, you guys. This goes beyond Virginia. So the clarification cards and. Um, Let's see, will the High Priestess reveal her secrets and, or what is this? So, um, with the Seven of Wands, it looks, it's a win for Virginia, but it, it's going to be a very, um, this is interesting, Seven and Seven, right? So, and again, we're talking about Virginia spirituality. So she's, she's really taking it for herself to a spiritual level. This is a battle of good and evil or something. And um, a seven of wands is she really feels as if she's fighting herself. She, even though she has this entire team of people and all these people that are supporting her, um, at the end of the day, she feels like she's alone, like she's fighting for her own self, like she's the only one standing in. She's, and I guess in a way it's true because, you know, um, putting all these private stories out there, it's, it's not easy. And, um, overcoming the shame, overcoming the what will people think of me and the decisions I made, um, overcoming that and it, it, it just, she really feels like this is an unjust attack, I also want to say that, she feels like it's an unjust attack and um, she will fight to the bitter end she is not going to go away and she's not going to give up let's have a look at this does this mean jail sentence what is this eight of swords right what is this eight of swords so there definitely there's some kind of a celebration now i need a clarifier for that celebration so nine of wands and we might as well so this is so this is so inconclusive but it looks like um with the four of four of wands there's there's some kind of a celebration okay the nine of wands is is standing ground and the sun is is so this really looks to me like dershowitz is going to walk out of this okay and um he may get himself into a tricky situation where he doesn't know or he's in this situation because he doesn't know which way to move or what to do or what the right way, you know, how to get him. He feels like he's being bound and gagged and he can't see anything about it. But Boys seems to think that he is guilty. Boys seems to really believe that Dershowitz is guilty. Whereas here, I'm not seeing that guilt with... with um, Virginia right so either she overcame it she let it go or there's a little bit more to the story than what she's telling because we've got the high priestess here and the high priestess usually is secrets and um, but boys seems to believe this of, of that he's dealing with dark energies and forces that aren't gonna lead to anything good so I also feel that boys may lose, like they're both going to lose against Dershowitz. Because I've got these cards over here that I put on the Eight of Swords. And he's going to, he's an old fighter, he's going to duke it out, he's going to battle. He's going to have um, a setback, a win, a setback, a win, a final win with the sun. So that seems to be what's uh, coming up for Dershowitz versus Jeffrey. And um, will the secrets that Virginia holds be fully revealed? Right? Let's let's see. The secrets that Virginia holds. What direction are they going in and will they be fully revealed?
And it's it's funny because um, <clears throat> in the Lena Ma cards that came out that they did have some kind of a connection, Dershowitz and Jeffrey, and that he felt betrayed by her. And I, I explained that feeling of betrayal that I got. And in this one, it's kind of like um, he really wants to bang her back into her place and he, he just might. He just might. It's it's like she um, she did the unthinkable, that which should never be done, that which would is agreed upon would never be done, and um, there's no concern or thought for her whatsoever. She broke the rules, and now she has to be punished, and the little girl has to be put back into her place. That's that's the feeling I'm getting here. So the high priestess the secrets that she holds right so she's still not even fully opening up about everything there's 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 that and this is probably what's keeping her alive maybe so what is this please travels travels there's knowledge travels Okay, so what I'm feeling, and this was the same thing that I got with um, Prince Andrew in his reading, right, is that we've got here, um, what I'm seeing here, there's a lot about trysts and liaisons. I mean, look at this. We've got the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Lovers. We've got the ultimate you know the enduring lover the knight of pentacles we've got the queen of wands this is all very the coming together of soul mates or also spiritual workings um, esoteric workings crossing water so i want to start with this one so there are a lot of travels crossing across waters across oceans this may be um traveling to epstein island right there were trysts and liaisons and words of love spoken there was a lot of uh, the page of wands comes across as very dramatic the queen of wands also very dramatic there was a lot of drama and a lot of um high energy it was all very exciting it was all very a lot going on a lot happening and the queen of wands is also known to be very magnetic sexual attraction this could be a specific person this may be Ghislaine who was overseeing the whole thing Ace of Cups, wishes fulfilled, anything goes, right? No holds barred. We've got the mixing together of two um, opposites with temperance, and we've got the lovers as well, right? Knight of Pentacles went on for a long time, but it ended in heartbreak and disillusionment and justice, but also a spiritual kind of justice. This spiritual thing keeps coming up. So it's almost like it's not the courts or the the human courts it's the fear of the god courts or of spirit not being allowed to access certain levels or get back into heaven but i also feel and this keeps coming up and it came up in andrew reading as well that somebody fell in love the seven of cups has to do with falling in love it has to do with those rosy colored glasses those pink colored glasses and um you know seeing someone in a in a certain light the three of swords is disillusionment right falling out of love falling not getting what they wanted so somebody didn't get what they want and i'm not quite you know this may be a secret a big secret this is a big secret that she's holding or keeping and it has to do and this is what came out in the first reading with epstein is I just feel that there's a little bit more to her whole action here than than um, getting revenge. Yes, it's something that'll help her uh, process her past. It'll something that'll get her the vengeance that she deserves. 
but there's also some kind something very deep hidden of a jilted lover story that is running through this whole thing um and and it might be her or she knows of someone who who has that story going on that is somehow connected to her and there were false promises made like everybody was making each other false promises i will love you for life i will always be there for you and then they disappeared or what have you and it was it was what they saw i feel like all these cards are showing up like a a brief magical time and of hedonism and excess and then it all fell apart and everything was disillusioned because everything fell apart over this couple um, and one of them was a jilted lover and everything started unraveling because someone wanted to um, get even right so she knows the story she is aware of the story but there's also because these people and the 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 situations or the positions they held right so it's 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 they saw themselves maybe as a village you know but they're coming from all parts of the world with high positions in the world so their decision making and their 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 leanings affected their decisions on a day-to-day -day basis which affected politics right and um so but the the seed of it all is in this jilted lover thing going on here um this this disillusionment this broken heart and this may be jeffrey this may be someone else that she knows of but it definitely affected everything okay all right so we'll see how things turn out but um i hope for the best for the innocent involved and i'm i'm yeah we'll see we'll see we'll keep watching and keep updating okay all righty so let's just have one more look at what can we learn out of this out of this whole mess with the archetype cards by kim krantz and um what can we learn out of this? These are kind of hard to shuffle, so I might do it this way. Oopsies. Okay, sorry. These are kind of... Okay, so let's see here. Spirit, can you please let us know what are the archetypes? What are we supposed to be learning out of this situation? What can we pull as observers? So card number one. And we've got the gem. <laughs> And that literally means that is um, what can we pull out of a situation? It's it's going into the darkness and we see all these worm-like creatures and digging out the gem, finding the gem in the dark. It's got the number 56, 56 11 too. So there's definitely a deeper teaching in this, right? There's a deeper teaching in this and it's very multifaceted. Um, let's see what the the book has to say 56 the gem 177 so she says and I'm just gonna um, finding I, I believe it's for finding truth you know Finding that thing that is within you that is beyond space, time, and materialism. The gem always stands in contrast within it, to its surroundings. You can't find it when you're among comforts and pleasantries. Precious stones develop slowly deep in the earth amid pressure and darkness. It requires a descent beneath the surface where there is no definite map. Yet the longing to touch the true gem within us is so strong that we cannot help but seek out its radiance unique shining generative irreplaceable 
So your gem, like your destiny, is unlike any other in the entire world. Keep digging. I feel this is what Jeffrey is trying to get back, is this gem that is within each and every one of us, this untouchable spark, this this untouchable um, spirit within us that has nothing to do with money or materialism or anything like that. It is it is that that touch of the divine, right? Let's see. We've got the hunter. And for me this this has always been a focus a focused card. It's got the number nine and the number nine has to do with endings and with um cycles but she says in the book the hunter hunts they are on a precise mission with an aim to return home empty-handed would be to fail which is not an option this archetype would journey far and wide seeking the prize tales of bravery and feats of strength often result creating a life full adventure quick decisive results oriented what am i hunting why am i hunting it is the weapon i hold tightly in my grip truly needed for the task at hand focused energized respectful and seasoned and let's pull one more this one is calling to me we've got the underworld okay so that one is It says, this is no time to mince words. The archetypal territory of the underworld is fraught with nightmares, suffering, and pain. It is the darkest shadow realm which we try vigilantly to avoid or deny at any cost. Try as we might, the darkness pulls us into its depths through disturbing dream images, unexpected accidents, illness, war, conflict, and ultimately death. Not visiting the underworld or denying its existence altogether is what gives it dangerous power. Traversing it forces us to bow humbly to the greater forces that be while summoning the inner strength we previously underestimated. Take solace that the underworld subsumes everyone from time to time, making us deeper friends, more intimate partners, soldiers of light. Facing darkness and choosing light is the most, most profound calling of all. Bravery, depth, facing of deepest fears, de and so on. So it's it's clear to see what the archetypes are that are playing out, right? And um, we we've got the and this seems all to be Jeffrey who is who's playing these these out in a way, right? But also um, Dershowitz in in one second. Let me just get these out of the way here. <laughs> They're beautiful. I love these. I love, 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 love these cards. Okay, so we've got the gem. And the gem has to do with finding that spark within you. That which is, you know, that which gives you life. Which gives you identity. Which gives you a core. Then we've got the hunter being focused. Um, staying on the task. Being a seasoned fighter. But we've also see, we're also seeing this, you know using your inner darkness with this dark horse to go into the light this is this is profoundly profound so allowing the light to draw out your darkness to face the darkness itself <laughs> and i'll just let that sit and going into the underworld Right? facing bringing out showing the dark showing what it's like turning over a rock and that's literally what she did she went and she turned over a rock and everybody's seeing the creepy crawlies and they're saying my god that's disgusting that is so ugly and she's shining a light into these dark spaces and through that her own darkness is revealed of course and um but she's manage to harness it in a way that will be productive for the light for goodness and through that she will redeem herself and find this connection again find her way back into feeling like i'm allowed into heaven i can get there too okay 
So it's it's um it, it's kind of showing us the way and that no matter what you've experienced, no matter how dark it gets, no matter how deep the darkness you've been into, um, she really is showing that it's okay to expose that. It's okay to step up out of that. It's okay to talk about that. And you shouldn't be ashamed of it. You shouldn't um, hide it away somewhere or hide yourself away somewhere, or your experiences away somewhere. Even though they may not be Disneyland pretty, they are real. And this is real. And it is happening. And um, it needs to be looked at. It needs to be talked about. It needs to be dealt with. And she's doing a tremendous job with that. And through this, this also darkness is not equal to darkness right so there's evil ignorant darkness and there's there's a very focused harnessed darkness that works in service to the light in service to consciousness and there's a difference between the two and it's okay to show your dark side it's okay to accept that dark side and harness it and use it for good and um we've got the gem she will redeem herself so it's 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 going to be an interesting next couple while but i feel like she even though she may lose the battle against um Dershowitz, she's not going to lose the war i don't i don't i don't feel that i feel there is there is something good coming for her out of all of this and um yeah we'll see we'll see what happens and keep following the story okay take care you guys thanks for watching Bye.